All right, ladies and gentlemen, Lena's looking beautiful. Guys, I must say, I feel really at peace tonight. I really feel at peace. The beauty influencer jobs are going to start soon. Um, I feel very blessed. Um, and I just know that I'm on a road for better things, uh, for good things. And I'm on this journey. And I just know I'm looking forward to all these things that are happening. I really feel that, you know, at this point in my life, the only way to move is forward. And I'm very kind of like, you know, independent and well, because I'm 42, but, um, but I'm independent and I'm on a roll and I just love how I, you know, I get to where I'm going and love to be, um, I don't know. I just feel very much at peace. I feel very much at, you know, like with my videos, I, I know, okay, so I'm not famous. I'm not, I'm seriously not even getting paid. You're like, how could that happen? You have 35,000 videos and you're good. But some of it takes time. So Meryl Streep took eight years to get famous. I'm, I'm basically, my anniversary is coming up soon, my third year anniversary. So I'm, I'm three years in. Um, and I'm not paid. So, you know, obviously it's the future that I'm thinking of, you know, and I'm not, I'm enjoying every minute of my life right now, but the future is where I'm headed. The future is what I think of when I think of my channel and the potential that it has. Um, so I feel very much at peace. I feel very much at like a, uh, at like a bliss and feel great and feel lucky. And, you know, I, I mean, I don't need anybody to tell me that I'm going to get paid on YouTube or that I'm going to do well on YouTube or that TikTok is going to pay me or whatever. Like, I don't need anyone to tell me that because I just know I'm good. And I mean, I really, you know, I really don't get a lot of attention. I mean, I only have 1,130 subscribers, so that's not a lot um, to, to just boast yourself and to feel like you are you know doing well but I can see past it right like I visualize the future I can see that I'm really good you know Jeffree Star when he first started his first video was very very good but you know it took a while for him to get famous he didn't just start out being famous he had to go through the process and yes his first video when you see his first video I was floored I was like he looks really really good I mean, I can see why he got where he, where he is today. But the first video, you just make a video, you're iconic and everything, but no one sees because no one knows that you've got this talent because you just have one video and you're just starting and no one knows about you. So you have to get the message across to the whole world and that takes time, right? Um, and I mean, especially for me, I don't have a lot of resources really to sort of like get the word out. I'm not a DJ, I'm not... I'm not, you know, going all over the world all the time. You know, I travel sometimes, but I don't go all over the world all the time. So it's not like I'm, you know, telling everybody in the world. I do advertise sometimes, but, but I mean, really, it's, it's almost, it's not just word of mouth. I do advertise, but, but I mean, you know, it's kind of like, um, you get the sense where you're like, you know, you just feel like, okay, well, um, you just know you're going to be big and you know, do you see when I saw Jeffree Star's first video, I'm like, yes, that makes sense that he got famous because he looks exactly the same as he does now with a different, a bit of different style. You could tell he had kind of, he wasn't famous because he doesn't have that. I mean, he's kind of got like a bit of an arrogance to him. Not really, but he's got kind of like a, I'm rich. I can do whatever I want kind of attitude. Not that he does, you know, he's very nice, but I'm sure, but but you can tell he's got like, I know, he's, he knows his worth, you know. Um, and so when you watch his first video, I'm sure you would see, just like I did, that it's innocent and it's like, it's like he's just stepping into the world and he doesn't know this is going to take him anywhere. And he's got, 
you know, a following, but it's not huge, you know, and that kind of thing. Uh, but you can get the sense, you know, you know what you're worth, you know what you feel like you are going to do and accomplish. Like, my look is very, very good. Now, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to gloat or anything, and some of you guys look really good too, so you know exactly how I feel. But, uh, you know, I don't do it to gloat, but it's just like very lucky because a lot of people are, you know, beauty is, is a rare thing. It's a really rare thing, and if you have it, you can get famous faster, you can do much better, your chances are much better. Like I look very, 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 very good. So I am very lucky, you know, in that sense, and I could just automatically see that I'm going to go far further just because of that. I don't even have to have good content. I could just make videos that I'm not doing much of anything and just have myself posing, you know? Uh, and I don't even have to pose well. I look good enough that I don't have to pose well. But I, of course, I'm a perfectionist. I want to do good performances. But, but I'm really, all in all, I'm very blessed. I'm very lucky. I could just be beautiful, and that's all I need, you know. Uh, and yes, you know, beauty is something you can rely on. And yes, beauty is something that you can know your worth and know you're going to be famous because of it. But it does take work. I mean, I have to exercise and diet like crazy. And I really have to like really do a lot of stuff just to be like this. Like it's not like I'm like this naturally. I have fun with it and I, it's easy for me and it's my lifestyle. I'm very comfortable being gorgeous and it's easy for me to do because I'm just the kind of person that does things to make me fit. But it is a lot of work. So if anybody says to you and you're going, let's say you're a gorgeous fan, and somebody says to you, oh, you're not doing anything, you just hold, you're just banking on your looks. Well, looks are something that you have to earn. You know, you can't just get there without working out, without dieting, without exercising. Like, you have to do a ton just to be, and some people will do a lot of weights. I do weights, but I don't do tons. But I do weights, and I'm good at weights. I can do heavy, heavy weights. But, but I mean, you know... There are some people that are bodybuilders or like even female bodybuilders or fitness people like gymnastics and all that that do all these things. And so they're very talented, they're very gorgeous. And so that takes a lot of work, whether you had parents that got you into it when you, that you were young or whether you did it later on in life or you just had a knack, you know, it does take a lot of work. A lot of people that do gymnastics or that do um, bodybuilding if they don't keep it up they're not going to stay that way uh, and a lot of people that do those things do stay that way because they do work at it and stay that way but uh but you know it's kind of like it's kind of like if you do those things you're guaranteed to be better looking uh and so that takes a lot of work you can't just be like a fit person without working out and doing all these things so before anybody says to you if you are a fan of mine and you're like you do a lot of things, maybe you are a gymnast, maybe you are a bodybuilder or a female fitness person and people are telling you, oh, you didn't earn it. Well, you did earn it. Being good looking is hard to do. Like you can't just be good looking without any effort. You have to, some people really are lucky. They don't even have to, they, they can be a bodybuilder that doesn't need to lift weights and they're bodybuilders. Like, so some people just get really lucky. So, I mean, I mean, it's not all, the hard work but in all in all if you are not doing any effort whatsoever and you eat a lot not that I'm saying you know being overweight is beautiful too but but if you eat a lot and you're not working out at all I really doubt you're gonna be fit looking at all like some people really do have a high metabolism they don't need to worry about anything at all they can eat lots they can do whatever but it's really rare. I, I really feel that if you are someone that's fit and looks good, you have to really work at it. You have to be someone that does something to be there because it really, like for me, like I'm 42. So unless I do like tons and tons of stuff, I'm not going to be fit for my videos. I have to do some, I have to be always eating less and always exercising just to be this, this beautiful. Now, you're like, well, you're like, well, if you have to do all that, um, and 
then yes, you did earn your status as a good YouTuber because of your looks, you know. Being good looking is not something that is, you know, and if you don't have a nice face, well then, I mean, you could still be good looking. You know, if you work on your body and you work on your look, you don't have to necessarily have perfect features, but if you have a perfect body, then people just automatically assume you're much better looking. So, you know, it's not like, it's not like it's not earned, right? And I, I like to stress that because, especially with my fans, it might be told, like I said, if you're told that you're not pulling your weight, well, you are, like, it's really not easy. And like I said, it's really rare that if somebody can eat a lot and they can not do any exercise that they're gorgeous. I really think that that's almost impossible. There are people that are like that. It's really possible, but but it's almost un unheard of, right? So anyway, you've earned it. If you are a good looking fan of mine or whatever, and you feel that you've got people saying, oh, you haven't earned it, you've earned it because being thin and fit is not easy to do. Like imagine if you ate whatever you wanted and you didn't exercise, then you would be like everybody that doesn't do those things and you wouldn't be good looking as much. I mean, people, beauty is different for everybody. Not everybody's gonna feel that that's not beautiful. It's beautiful, it's beautiful, everything's beautiful, but everybody's beautiful, but but let's say you don't do exercise and you, you eat out a lot and whatever, then obviously your videos are not gonna be doing as well. I mean, you can still do well. There are people that are overweight, that like Chris Farley, adorable, he was so adorable, he did very, very well. You know, Megan Trainer, good singer. Adele, when she was bigger, she was still a good singer. You could still be really, really famous and do really. Uh, Elton John, um, Elton John's kind of thinner, not not too big, but you know, you could be you could be bigger and not necessarily. Uh, you don't have to be like drop dead gorgeous to be really, really famous. Like Elton John is literally the most one of the most famous people in the world, and he looks good. It's just that he's not, you know, a bodybuilder, right? Um, and he's, he's gorgeous, the people love him and they think he's great, but he's not like a fit, like he doesn't do like fitness things, you know? Um, and you know, Adele, when she was bigger, you know, she's gorgeous now, she lost a lot of weight, but when she was bigger, like no one questioned whether she was good. She was instantly famous, well, well she took a while, but she was famous and she did a very good job, but it wasn't like she was, you know, um, it wasn't like she that hindered her, you know. You could be still overweight and not worry about whether you're going to be really famous because you just are, right? We look at Lizzo, right? Lizzo is overweight and she's like really famous, adorable, like crazy, um, and just so talented. We love her music, right? And who cares if she's bigger, right? Like honestly, she's gorgeous and she's talented. I mean, she does the work. She does all the dance moves, she does all the makeup, all the bling. She's good, you know. Anyway, bye now. Same with Elton John. Elton John is really good.